Hey, Johnny Grubal, Mantrain.com. Today, our fitness and health culture is corrupted, okay? It's corrupted by social media. You got these young kids on social media, taking steroids in high school. Also, they can build a brand so they can post it on TikTok or Instagram, whatever, so they can try to build a brand. These kids are fucking their lives up. People think, well, what does it matter? It's not how long you live, it's how you live your life. Well, my opinion is... If you need to be validated and your self-worth is as little as fucking having strangers give you a thumbs up or fucking telling you how buff you are, you got fucking issues, okay? Now, you got people out there in the fitness world and the strength world who will tell you because they're smarter than everybody else that if you eliminate any foods, like say you're on a carnivore diet or a ketogenic diet and you eliminate fucking vegetables, okay, that's bad for you. Well, says who? Because there's a lot of research out there that's being done by a lot of doctors, healthy doctors, fit doctors, not fucking skinny vegetarian doctors, not ones that have an agenda. There's do there's doctors out there who are very fit or, and they're scientists or biologists fucking doing the research and reading the research and telling you the real fucking shit. But the people that are telling you that if you do these diets, you're fucking, you know, you're stupid, you're fucking part of the fucking problem. Yet these fucking people are taking steroids. Meat today has become more ta eating meat has become more taboo than fucking people taking steroids. Think about that. Why follow any fucking jackass who's taking steroids but's telling you how the fuck you should eat? That's just my opinion. Because a person that's going to take fucking steroids is probably going to take other fucking drugs. Because if you look at a lot of these bodybuilders who have died recently. They're not just taking fucking steroids. They got other fucking problems going on. So think about that, man. Before you go and start injecting shit in your body, it's kind of fucking sick when you're injecting needles in your fucking body that you don't need to. You know? And if your self-worth is that fucking low, well, keep living the fucking life you want. You got nobody to fucking wait around for. Nobody gives a fuck about you. Hey, man, have at it. Your life to fucking destroy. Later.